What's going on, guys? What's going on, YouTube world? It's your boy Marcus, Muscle Man Marcus. And as you can see, I'm doing this a little different because the way the video is set up, I'm at the Migo house right now in the Mr. Rogers neighborhood couch with the chicken wing. <laughs> but yeah, man, the freaking, okay, this is what happened. So I was recording and the basically the video was out of sync, so I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm not, I'm gonna stop talking right, wait, no, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, it's working, because the video slowed down. Anyways, I'm gonna just put this over the clips, and I'm gonna just talk to you guys. So yeah, guys, it's been a minute since I've seen y'all. I miss you, I love you, I know y'all miss me too, I know y'all love me too, but anyways. So in this workout today, we had legs. So uh, today is my high intensity, low intensity day. So I had sets of six at 75%. And now mind you, I did this for one set before and it was fairly difficult. So the fact that I was able to do three sets of six with this, I was really happy. And let me tell you about something. You gotta have that. It's called squat fitness, guys. I just made this up. But I, I, I had it before, but I just had to think of a name for it. It's called squat fitness. And what squat fitness is, is when you go under that rack, you already know. You already know that you're gonna hit that weight. The moment you doubt yourself and you feel like, oh man, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of fatigued, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, that's the moment when you knew you effed up. So don't eff up, guys, have that squat fitness. And this goes for any of your list, bot, bench, botch. I tried to mix bench and squat together and I came up with <laughs> But yeah, guys, you wanna have that confidence on your deadlifts, on your bench, and on your squat. And that's really something I've been working on, trying to stay confident in my lifts trying to stay assertive and trying to stay aggressive so that the speed will be consistent from the first rep to the last rep but yeah like I said it's been a minute because it's been because of finals and my camera was acting up so I haven't made a video in about three weeks and yeah so y'all gotta y'all gotta bear with me y'all gotta y'all gotta bear with me squirrel with me fox with me all right maybe y'all didn't get that one <laughs> you get it yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So this was my last set. I could have went for a fourth one, but I did not want to because I'll do that the next cycle if I decide to do another strength cycle. But I did not want to do that. I just wanted to win the day. I just wanted to get that, and that was that. And now this thing I started doing, I started doing three by eight after all my main compound lifts. So what I did is I backed down to 365, which wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be because. That was a weight that I used to do for a set of five. And three sets of five would tire me out. And now to think that I'm doing a set of eight with it, it's crazy. I mean, I switched to low bar, but I could probably do a high bar too. No, don't, don't, don't slack on me now. Don't, you know, just because I swallow low bar, it's been a minute since I did high bar, but I can still get that joint like no other. So yeah, this three by eight, I feel like it's a way for me to still build strength in a higher rep range because that's how my body works while still, you know, getting that extra work in. And another thing I started incorporating is these stiff leg deadlifts. Um, not nothing too heavy, 375. The last set I did 385. And that's just something I want to try to build up off of, really hit my posterior chain because I don't want my quads to take over because they're already huge. So don't neglect your posterior chain, guys, because that's a very important primary mover especially if you low bar because it's all posterior. So make sure you get them hamstring guys, the hams for the man. So excuse my nose because it's kind of clogged up and I know y'all can hear it. And another thing I'm gonna start doing is train my body unilaterally when I do my accessories as far as legs. I'm doing this single leg leg press. And uh, what, like four sets of 12, three to four sets of 12. And I'm just trying to focus on pushing aggressively and normally I would have my toe pointed out so I could feel it in my blue area a little bit, but this was just like straight quad, so I had my foot like forward, you know what I'm saying? And next we got the seated hamstring curl, well, kneeling hamstring curls. It's funny because this machine wasn't here before, I guess they just added it to the gym. And so I decided to do three sets of 12 with that. I didn't want to like completely destroy my hamstrings because I knew I had deadlifts in the next two days. But thanks to Ramwa, your boy man. Hey, if y'all not if y'all not stretching every day or y'all not like doing some type of stretching program, I definitely recommend Ramwa because it is definitely lit. So another thing, I have no calves, so I plan on trying to 
new caps every time I hit like uh same thing unilaterally I probably should have slowed the pace down just a little bit try to get a uh, good even tempo going but instead I just decided to try to bang them out I think I did four sets of 12 and I should have just put like a lighter weight on each side but I had to just get up put the plate on the other side and it was just unnecessary I didn't I shouldn't have to do all of that and then I went to this seated uh, calf press and I did 10 no I did 12 with my feet together normal 12 with them facing out and then 12 with them in like a triangle and I rested 10 seconds in between each one and I did that four times and your boys calves were on fire I did four sets in every set I think I started at like 130 and 140 and then I went up every set and then as you can see I'm doing these seated box jumps now I used to do these joints all the time and I felt like once I uh when I did these after my squats I don't know I just felt like it had some type of carryover this is when I was doing high bar though but it's like I never left and on this one you'll see that I almost died because I did not bring my foot all the way up and it's right here we here there it is I caught myself though I'm Gucci but yeah guys I want to get back to doing the things that I used to do because the things that I used to do work so if you ever find yourself lagging in some type of you know lift or something go back to what you used to do if, and if it worked you know stick with it try it again and roll with that so seated box jumps those were definitely a staple in my programming that I'm gonna add back and then I just finished it off with some uh with some lunges forward and backwards but I used a straight bar so that's what's up with that guys I definitely hope that I will be able to continue to put these videos out at a you know a decent time so you guys can see it and they won't be like spaced out so widely like I put up a video today and then I put up another video next week after that you know what I'm saying so yeah so look out for more cuz I'm back I'm back and I'm better I want you back. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but comment, like, and subscribe. You definitely should subscribe because I'm sitting in this um, this Mr. Rogers neighborhood chair, and it makes me look like I'm a. It makes me. You know what I'm saying? It makes me look like I, I'm, I'm. I'm. It looks homey. This setting is very homey. So, yeah, guys. Muscle Man Marcus.